Have you ever found yourself in this situation? So we're under the trees. I've actually got a full swing, so there's no trees inhibiting me. But I still have got quite a long way to go. This is on a par five on the course that I'm on at the moment. Now, the sensible me would go, let's get a seven iron, try and keep it low, keep it under the branches, uh, and try and get it back into play. Now, some people would call this shot crazy. Some people would call this genius. But I want to show you two different ways of approaching this, one I think you're going to find fascinating. So I've got my 7 iron, I'm going to position the ball slightly back in my stance as you would do to play these shots low, but if I get this slightly wrong and put a little bit too much loft on the golf club, this canopy now is in the way of me. So if I was approaching trying to hit this a full shot, if I get this a little bit incorrect, put too, a little bit too much loft on it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that, it just dropped over here. So it's caught the branches, dropped straight down. Now a lot of golfers say that uh, trees are 80-90% air, but in my experience, it's very rare that you're going to get very lucky and the golf ball is going to fly through the canopy. Now, how about this for a club of choice? So I've still got quite a long way to go, well over uh, 200 yards to go. And the club I've chosen now is my driver. And the reason I've cho chosen this one is because I'm guaranteed to keep the ball low. Um, because we're, we're on the floor and I'm going to put the golf ball in the middle of my stance rather than foot forward as we would do normally. Now, if you watch this now, so I'm just keeping it in the middle. I, because I can make a full shot, the natural trajectory of this golf club is going to keep it under the canopy and then it goes into a nice open space. So chances are I might be able to get this down there 180, 200 yards and it really doesn't matter if you top it because even if you top it, it's still going to run a long way underneath this canopy. Low because of its driver, it's actually gone straight onto the green. So it's come out over well over 200 yards, caught that really well. But hopefully, what you notice there, the flight of the ball was really low. So, if you ever find yourself in this position where you need to keep the golf ball low, try hitting a driver out in the middle of your stance. It's guaranteed for a low ball flight, and even if you top it, it's still going to run a long way. Now I hope you found this video helpful and uh, if you're in this situation give it a go. Is it crazy or is it genius? Let me know. Please drop a, drop a comment in the box below. And as always if you've got any questions feel free to drop me an email at julian at propergolfing.com. Always happy to answer your golfing questions. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.